We've all seen the videos that do object recognition. An image is generated with bounding boxes around particular objects. But now what? What can we do with this data and how quickly can we develop an application that puts it to use? In this video, we'll take the streaming output from an object recognition algorithm and create an event-driven application that notifies security when the object has moved from its correct location. Vantic is an event-driven application platform as a service. And this is Pablo Picasso's priceless painting, The Old Guitarist. We've trained an object recognition engine to identify this painting. So now let's build an application with Vantic that can see if it's being moved or taken. We'll start in Vantic's app modeler. Here you see a model developed by key stakeholders and requirements analysts, written in plain text depicting the events that will take place in order to determine our art is moved. The camera note represents the live video stream. And this event represents the receipt of a payload that contains any recognized objects. The first reaction to our event will be to determine if the art is moving, and then determine if the art has moved past some desired threshold. And if so, we'll notify security. Really simple language to relay a concept to the engineering team. And now that we know what our application will do, we hand it to our developers to take this simple application outline to create and complete a fully working application. First, we'll switch from the model mode to generate mode. In this mode, when we double click on the notes, we can associate them with Vantic activity patterns. On this first one, we'll identify that the event type comes from our object recognition source, which we have named Art Cameras. That source is defined with the connection parameters to our camera and the neural network that handles the object recognition. The source outputs an array of results for each detected object. And since we'll want to handle each one separately, We'll add another reaction and call it unwind result, which takes each object in the results array and creates a new downstream event for asynchronous processing. At some point, we're going to want to look up the artwork's correct position on the wall from the database. And to do that, we'll need an ID to match our asset. This ID is in our result set, but we need the event to properly match the database property. And so we'll use a transformation activity pattern to add the ID to the top level of the new object. With the ID, we can now look up where the painting's location should be from the database. We'll use a special activity pattern called Cached Enrich, which will only go to the database on launch of our application or when we cross the refresh interval, which we'll set for one hour. Here we'll set the Evaluate Art Movement reaction to run a custom procedure to calculate the overlap of the art's correct position with its detected location. And here a simple threshold will determine if the artwork is within 90% of its correct location because of jitter in the object recognition algorithm. Finally, if our object's overlap is less than the allowed tolerance, we'll start a collaborative activity to use a mobile device to send an alert to our security team. Now, by pressing the Generate button, almost all of our application code is built. There will only be a few things left to configure and we can run the app. We'll switch to the auto-generated project and view the application and its collaboration, the action we'll take when our situation is identified. So now, we've taken our application model, some simple text, and from it created a secure, scalable, event-driven application. To complete it, we'll make the last few adjustments. Our object recognize pattern is already completely configured. For the unwind event, we simply identify which property in our object contains the array and the name of the property that will be emitted for each new event that is unwound. Now to add our ID from the label. In the previous pattern, we turn multiple results into a single object, and so we'll reflect that here. Additionally, we'll add the ID field which will derive from the object's label. To pull the correct record from the database, we'll be looking up data in our assets type. We'll look it up by the ID of the painting, and we'll tell it that we don't need to look it up on every reading. Instead, we'll cache it to minimize database calls and check it once an hour. 
Here is the only place in our application we'll use some custom code. This procedure takes the incoming event and compares the correct location of the art with the object's detected location to calculate the amount of overlap. To link it to our application, we simply choose the procedure from a dropdown. Optionally, we can set a schema to help make choosing properties and downstream events easier. For our threshold, we'll say that the overlap property which was created in the previous procedure has to be less than 90% to be considered moved from its correct location. The direction will be true, meaning we only care about crossing the threshold, and we'll group it by ID so we can evaluate individual pieces of artwork or any objects we might be tracking. We'll trigger this event when our value crosses this threshold over a single reading. The last thing in our application is to tell it we want to track the situation by starting a collaboration. To do this, we'll associate our assets ID in the database with the incoming event ID and choose our asset type. We save the application and we can now detect when our art is not in its correct resting position. To get a mobile notification, we've created a small client in the Vanta Client Builder. This has two elements, an image, which we'll use to display a picture of what art is being moved or taken, and the artwork's name. Now we'll configure the collaboration to send the notification by telling the collaboration to keep track of the asset's entity type, which for a given instance of the event will be known as asset. And we'll set the notification to use the mobile client we designed. The notification itself will have a title and subtitle, which will be displayed on the phone. To configure who gets the notification, I'll use a static user ID, but in practice, you would probably look this up from the database as well. Our application is complete, so let's see it in action. You can see, as the events come in, the picture is within the threshold, even when our subject blocks the image. Once he starts to move it, however, the threshold is crossed and our notification is sent to the phone. We open up the mobile application and can see our client as the details of our issue. We hope you enjoyed this example of a real-time, event-driven application rapidly built in Vantic. Others could include facility security using AI and facial recognition technology, field service management using real-time location tracking, logistics and supply chain management using IoT sensors and GPS, and many more. To learn more about using Vantic in real-time applications of any kind, contact us at vantic.com.